Hi. In this video, we're going to solve a pretty straightforward looking equation here. Uh, but there's something about this equation that sometimes uh, can trip people up, so uh, we'll work through it together. Alright, our equation is x plus 5 equals 2. So uh, when it says to solve it, that means we're looking for a value of x, that if you added 5 to it, your answer would be 2. It would be the same as 2. Okay, we'll do it two different ways. We'll do it one way with algebra tiles. There's an x, and then plus 5. With the algebra tiles I'm using, um, I'm using reds to be negative, so all the other colors are positive. So there's x plus 5. And that balances out to, or that's exactly the same as 2. So we have x plus 5 equals 2. Now, oftentimes, if we had an equation where we had x plus 5 was equal to something, um, all we'd want to do to isolate x would be to subtract 5. Um, and you can do that. And if you're comfortable doing that here with the tiles and with the um, written algebra, you should go right ahead. Uh, but sometimes people are a little bit unsure about how to subtract 5 from 2. So I just wanted to show you an alternative with the tiles where if you'd like, you can add negative 5 to both sides instead. So let's do that, and then we'll take a look at why it works. One, two, three. So what I'm going to do, when I'm adding to both sides, and if I've got positives and negatives, or if anything is just even a slight bit complicated, I try to get the thing that I'm going to add to both sides, I try to get it ready on both sides, and then add it at the same time, just to make sure I don't sort of forget to do anything. So here's plus negative 5 and plus negative 5. Add that at the same time to everything. So we'll write down here what we did. So we had x plus 5 equals 2. And what did we did do? We added negative 5. And then let's, if you look ahead here, you can think, well, why did you think that we should add negative 5? Um, but it's because I could imagine what was going to happen with all these zero pairs. So if I had 5 plus negative 5, 5 yellows plus 5 reds, that makes a bunch of zero pairs. So this is, all of this is worth nothing. That's all worth zero. So I can get that, take that away without changing the value, without sort of changing the weight on the side of the balance. So on the left side of the equation, um, I'm just going to write down algebra for what we just did, x plus 5 plus negative 5, that gave us just x. And then over here, we have to think a little bit about what this is equal to. And if I think of my zero pairs here, I have two zero pairs, so I can get rid of each of them without changing the value of anything. And what does that leave me? That leaves me negative 3. So there's my solution, and I'll just quickly check. So here's how I'll write down what I'm checking. First I'll copy my equation, x plus 5 equals 2. So that was just copied from what was given. And now what I'm asking myself is, is if I replace my x with this negative 3, because I think that's what the value of x is, that would be a solution. So I'll replace that as negative 3 plus 5. So I've taken this side of the equation here, and I've just replaced the x with the negative 3. Is that equal to 2? So I have to ask myself that. So negative 3 plus 5, I can think of that. I can imagine the zero pairs, or I can imagine a number line, or whatever I'd like there. Negative 3 plus 5 is indeed equal to 2. Yes, it is. So that means that x equals negative 3 is a solution to the equation x plus 5 equals 2.